Breaking. Hillary Clinton is in full panic after the State Department makes massive announcement about her, and she's finally toast. Dean James reports. Did you know that despite being under investigation, Crooked Hillary and her staffers still have security clearances to access sensitive government information? That's unbelievable, but it's true. Trump's State Department has opened a formal inquiry into whether former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton and her aides mishandled classified information while she was the nation's top diplomat, violated government protocols by using her private server to receive, hold, and transmit classified top-secret government documents. The inquiry follows the conclusion of the FBI's investigation, which did not result in any action being taken against Hillary or any of her aides, thanks to disgraced former FBI director James Comey. If things go right, Hillary and her aides will have their access to sensitive government information, their documents terminated. Senate Judiciary Committee Chair Chuck Grassley committee launched its own inquiry into Clinton's handling of emails, an inquiry that began in March. Malia Zimmerman at Fox News reported, Grassley stated among his concerns the July 5 statement of former FBI Director James Comey that the agency found Hillary and her staff members were, quote, extremely careless in their handling of very sensitive, highly classified information, end quote. Grassley also stated that there is evidence of potential violations of the statutes regarding the handling of classified information. During the FBI investigation of Hillary's use of top secret classified information on her private server, which she intentionally set up right after she was briefed as to how to handle classified information. She didn't tell the government that she had the intention of putting in her private server. She did it a few days later. Comey said there were seven email chains on Clinton's computer that were classified at the top secret special access program level. Another 2,000 emails on her private server were found to have contained information deemed classified now, though not marked classified when sent. In addition, her private server also contained 22 top secret emails deemed too damaging to national security to be released, as you can imagine. This is bizarre why this woman has not been indicted for this. Clinton spokesman Nick Merrill told Fox News that the investigation into Clinton's mishandling of classified information is done. Quote, nothing's been done more thoroughly dissected. It's over. Case closed, literally, end quote, said Merrill. That's not a universally held view, though. Chris Farrell of Judicial Watch, a conservative Washington-based government watchdog, and thank God they're around. They've already helped uh, uncover a lot of crimes. So Judicial Watch filed a number of lawsuits relating to the Clinton email scandal. He says he believes Clinton and her circle of national security criminals should not have access to any classified information for any reason. Quote, their conduct has cost them that privileged position of special trust and confidence, end quote. This is what Farrell said. Any other government employee would have been prosecuted under 18 U.S.C. Section 793F. That's mishandling national defense information. And they would be subject to long prison sentence and large fines as well, Farrell added. Quote, this flagrant double standard for the gang that exposed top secret code word material to the Russians, the Chinese, and to others is both offensive and deeply corrosive to the intelligence community. There is no better evidence than when it comes to Hillary Clinton and her coterie. Laws are for the little people, end quote. Lock her up already, people say. Sources AFF, and this is on America's Freedom Fighters.